five billion years, our nearest star, the Sun, will die, swelling and becoming a red giant. The heat will be so intense, the oceans will boil. Our planet will be scorched beyond recognition. The crust will melt. The surface will become an ocean of molten rock. All life will end in the ultimate Armageddon. Our universe is alive with the shimmering of countless stars, but our vision from beneath the Earth's protective atmosphere shields us from the real dangers. These are the most violent objects in the universe. Kirshner is a Harvard professor with a passion for the stars. He spent a lifetime studying them, from their cradle to their grave. I remember as a kid going out and seeing the stars at night, and I'd lie on the snow, I remember, with a flashlight and a star map, and try to dope out uh, what things were where in the sky. And my mother used to call out the back door, and she'd say, Bobby, come in, get off that snow. Today, instead of lying in the snow, Kirshner comes to Kitt Peak Observatory. Kitt Peak is at about 7,000 feet, so it's not a particularly high mountain, but it is uh, considerably above the valley floor, so it's a good site for astronomy. Also, the weather is very good down here in Arizona, so we get a lot of clear nights. He has a date with the night sky to look for one of the most dramatic and beautiful events in the universe, the birth of a new star. As the sun sets over the Arizona desert, the observatories open for work. This mountaintop gives astronomers an unrivaled view of the sky high above the clouds and obscuring lower atmosphere. Kirshner is looking for giant clouds of gas inside our galaxy, the Milky Way, that may give birth to new stars. Okay, we're ready. Let's go to the first one now. All right. There are catalogs of regions where stars have been forming or where there are big clouds of gas that people have compiled over the years, and so by looking at some of these things from the catalog, we can begin to investigate individual areas where there really are uh, stars forming and where we can look deep into them to see what's going on. With their high power telescopes, Kirshner and his colleagues have been peering into enormous gas clouds inside our own galaxy. This is the Lagoon Nebula, an interstellar nursery which is giving birth to hundreds of new stars. The clouds are mostly made of hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe.
They are so dense, they begin spiraling inwards under their own gravity. The matter collects and begins to form a fledgling star, a protostar. With a disk of gas and dust falling inwards, it spins faster and faster. This was probably how our sun and the solar system was born. After a while, the material that is in orbit around the protostar starts bumping into itself, and so it builds up bigger particles out of smaller ones, eventually makes dust and makes gravel, and then very quickly, probably, builds up things as big as planets. This is the moment of birth of a new star, with a new sun spawning a disk of orbiting planets. The star shrinks down more and more until it becomes hot enough and dense enough for the nuclear reactions in the center to get going that turn it from being a glowing ball of gas into a real star, something that has a nuclear fire down in the center. The same nuclear reactions that take place in a hydrogen bomb, converting hydrogen into helium, produces the energy that causes stars to shine. When the nuclear fires ignite, a new star is born. Since the birth of our solar system, the closest and most familiar star of all, our sun, has bathed our planet in heat and light. At the heart of the sun, 600 million tons of hydrogen are converted into helium every second in a nuclear reaction that fired up four and a half billion years ago. For generations, the only way astronomers could study the sun's fiery atmosphere was during a total solar eclipse. For a few fleeting minutes, the sun drops its guard, allowing us a glimpse of its awesome power. Francisco Diego, a professional eclipse chaser, saw his first eclipse as a teenager in Mexico. It began a lifelong fascination with the sun. The total solar eclipse is an event that, when you see it, you will never forget. The day of the eclipse is very special. When you look at the sun, you see this beautiful, complete, perfect disk. But the day of the eclipse, exactly at the time that has been predicted for many, many years in advance, you see how the moon starts eating into it. At total eclipse, the moon will align